everybody, and welcome. I am the Beta Plan, and this is Crusader Kings 2 with a Faerun Total Conversion mod installed. And, uh, well, in the last episode, I said I will not record any further before I had some input, and, well, input you gave me. So I want to thank Pedro HSK, Rush for in and Woodman Feather High, who combined they had all more or less the same idea, that is, A. Yes, you shall conquer as the beginning, you shall hold on to your word, you will conquer all of Chult and Lapalia. Because, well, the jungles of Chult and the Chult Peninsula, as I showed, mm, if I hit the right buttons, they, they go up to this point. So this, this is still jungle climate, and then yes, this part, it, it isn't, but it's, well, it's part of the domain area, so pff, we'll, we'll just conquer that as well. So basically, that is the thing that we shall do, and as, um, well, Woodman Featherhigh said it, going into Undev is the, seems like the natural progression in the series. I'm not sure if I would call it natural, <laughs> going to Undev, but yeah, that is something that was fun, according to Rush for In. And yeah, uh, well, Pedro H HSK did not say uh, anything about the Undead part, but did want to see the conquest. And, uh, well, thank you guys uh, for letting me know. I didn't... I, I love the interaction more, and the fact this is the cool thing of a small channel, in a sense. You react, I respond, and I keep that into account. Um, perhaps unlike some other people that I know on the internet, there are also still a lot of good YouTubers out there who do keep tr keep track of their consistency, but yeah, I'm a small channel, so your vote has carries extra weight because it's a lot of the percentages. And uh, by the way, I was also suggested to uh, well uh, become a Red Wizard in Fae for the next round uh, around. Maybe I'll put that up there in the uh, in the next voting list, but I'm not sure because I don't think Fae needs my help. It tends to be well doing well for itself most of the time, but we'll we'll, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Right now, we have other things to do. That is, choose undeath. We need 500 cult influence. We have more than enough. So let us see what happens when we go down this road. Now, if we go down this road, and I succeed, I will become undead, which gives me a hefty penalty with a lot of people around. But it also means infinite life. Which means I will spawn dragon culture cells every everywhere. But right now, choose on death. After many years of faithful service to the cult, you'll finally be rewarded with eternal life. I'll glide through the night and feed on the blood of the living. I gain the vampire trait. I like that, because the thinking thing here is, is that I can become a lich. A lich Baylorn, which I s assume I can't because I probably won't meet the re prerequisites, because a Baylorn, uh, Baylorn, sorry, I don't, uh, did it wrong, is a elven good type of lich. So either vampire or lich would have been the best, because vampire spawn is definitely below it, and on that, yeah. So I will take the vampire one. And uh, interesting thing is with the vampire one, oh dear, I feel sneeze coming up. Uh, well, we'll just have to cut it out when it happens. Um, it's hidden from the world at large at the moment, so it's not immediately visible. Like, not everybody immediately knows that you're a lich. And I, and I, I removed the lich here, of course, but maybe we can still find him. There he is. Asarak the Devourer, who is a lich. But the lich trait gives a general opinion minus 20 immediately, and everybody knows. And only a health plus 2, whereas a vampire gives way more. Except that it doesn't give health, but I assume I still won't be able to die from the diseases. But yeah, a vampire is... I always enjoy vampires. I know a lot of people probably in the community already go like, we now be the plan. You don't need to tell us. You make game, games with vampires are common for you. But yeah, they're more like the... the mm, it's between, yes, you're an undead, but you still have that, that, that connection to life. It makes them the most uh, inner turmoil or uh, creatures with inner turmoil of the undead. I am... Messing up my words, but a vampire, I like it. Oh, and I like the portrait change. I like the portrait change. And my wife actually now has additional attraction to me. Vampire. So that is amazing. So we are undead, and we are a hearty, genius, attractive undead already. Now, we aren't the greatest attraction uh, on the Mundus. You can go one more step up here, and I think two steps up here. 
But uh, yeah, undead. So it doesn't really matter that she now is actually my heir. Which means we really kind of want this land. Oopsie daisy. Uh, yeah, but I do want to keep her as a counselor. Ah, she can keep it. We'll, we'll build another castle somewhere around. It doesn't really bother me at this moment. Yeah, still Chelton. And she is holding Chelton. Maybe, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe she can try and convert this county for us and the culture wise. All right, so we've obtained vampirism. No more dying. And of course, we are now a wicked villain because we did a wicked villain conquest here on Findle. But we got there some nice holdings because they are feudal type of holdings. When can we declare war upon you again? Quite a ways away from him now. Do we want to destroy the wild dwarfs? <laughs> no. Because, uh, well, I was also told, uh, and that was mainly Pedro H. H. A. S. Key that said that, uh, you gotta make this a safe haven for skilled kind, which, that is a quest and a half, because that means Yonti are allowed, Patero folk are, I believe, allowed? Because, uh, are they on the skating kind? Yeah, they're ex actually on the skating kind. Of course they're on the skating kind, they're kind of type of dinosaur. What am I talking about? Lizard folk are allowed, and the Naga are allowed. But uh, besides that, everything else is bad, which means we have to really throw a lot of things around. Not sure if we're able to do that, but we'll try our best. That's for sure. All right. I hope that Findal now gets attacked from all kinds of sides. Uh, attacking High Chief uh, of Westwall and the Val Conquest of Westwall. No, you are actually attacking somebody. Can I offer to aid you? No, but I can declare a world war for this lady's claim, which means it will come down into our line eventually. I am going to do, do that one. Because if we can do this, then at least we will be well, warring with other people that are in for that little piece of land. And if we do that... We have a chance of influencing the outcome. Because I don't want the West Wall to fall to a non yonti Which is possible here. He's also defending against this host. Actually, I wouldn't have mind helping you out, actually. Oh well. The funny thing is, if you... If we win, actually... Let me see this. We, we're fighting for her claim. He's gonna get landed. And you have a barony. I, he might not join my territory. He might take away the barony. I think he will take away the barony because it's a lower title, but alright. Oh, no longer stressed. I feel energized. That's also very interesting. I'm a vampire druid. How many vampire druids are there that you know of? I would think very few. I guess you were raiding? Which is weird, because you are over here attacking for the Northing. It's a bit of a weird... Hello! You're going to? Casa Bay. Okay. We'll give you chase, destroy your army. Because the west wall is falling, and we are about to prevent that from becoming a too big of a non yonti reality. Then Halrua is over here still. Oh yeah. Speaking of which, now that we indeed are immortal, and I didn't expect this to happen instantaneously, but it did. Uh, we already own the cult all here, right? Yeah. So, uh, establish cult cell, establish cult cell, establish cult cell, the entire coast is going to have cult cells. There we go. I wonder if this is going to bite me back in the arse, but we'll have to see. 
Oh, oopsie daisy. Other problems for that. We are now highly suspicious of having joined the Secret Society. Yeah, but my piety is still good, as is my prestige gain. I don't really mind. I would love to fight Halrua over keeping these uh, things alive. Ooh. Uh, even now the pregnancy is over, my wife's craving for exotic foods have yet to stop. I'm starting to think she's just taking advantage of my generosity to grow fat. I think you have quite enough, dear. And somebody joined the existing defensive alliance with me. We need a larger bed. It seems my advice fell on deaf ears. So much for moderation. Yep, yeah, she has become fat. Oh well. So be it. Uh, the question here is... I would fight you... But, uh, you're fighting for that piece. This is gonna get complicated quickly. Songs will be sung of this day. Excellent. We take this land. We have 97% already in our favor. That's very nice. We will fight the victor. I don't know who that's gonna be. It doesn't really matter. Uh, one of the cauldrons of the dragon cells in your land has distinguished itself. Doing consistently doing excellent for the cult for the last few years. 100 cult influence. Nice. Alright, we will take away the uh, horde that is leading over here. 50 prestige, a nobleman has distinguished himself. Very nice. I am now siege leader. 100% all for peace. And that has changed all the walls for you. And I offer you a non aggression pact because you now are now married to my brother. So that uh, could do some very interesting things for us. We are going to be allied, or at least I hope, with the West Wall. The Klein? Really now? Unexpected. Unexpected. She declines. Oh well. Nonetheless, we have a, li uh, a link towards that a area. Of course I will help, don't worry about this. Uh... Yeah, that's fine. Um, I think I still have her marked as a person of interest. Yeah, because she could lead it to her family. I didn't want to wait too long. This is another person that is within our lands that we could have fought for. E, and I think you're trying to... Sumerian Holy War for Samar. They're going for the last little piece of the duchy. Interesting. Fighting the, the wild wolves. I'm okay with that. And uh, I believe Findle is lying in pieces. Defending against the Vengeful and the Vow Conquest of the Northing. Cool. You do you. The Northing. Being this part. And maybe then I will give him full control of it. Oh, this is my grandson. No, maybe not. That might be a bad idea. Oh, grandson, what did you do? With a, a female woman, but you are, yeah, Malison, so you could not have gotten children there. There was, by the way, also... An Kind of an interesting suggestion how I have to remember. I think it was Woodman, Woodman, Woodman Feather High as well. That said, like, hey, why don't you go and, oopsie daisy, uh, get them some people, um, like princesses, and uh, marry them off into your dynasty, and then have those dynasty members have claims to interesting thrones that you can then go for. But, yeah, well, 
I already answered and he said, yeah, I didn't. It's true, I forgot about that little part. That's the whole thing. We are yachty. We don't mix with everything. And that can, of course, cause some interesting issues. There it is. Conquered. You now hold four counties. This one, this one. So you don't hold this one, I assume. And not that one. Yeah, because that is the one you really shouldn't pull away. Because that's the only one other yachty. So hopefully you can convert this on your own. This kobold territory that was... Uh, well, ruled by dwarves. Now it's ruled by Yonti. That's a little bit less work. And although you might think it, as you may notice, and I may go a little too quick right there. So I realize I have to go back. What the heck? He follows the Yonti culture, but this is not a Yonti. Is it? No, it is actually. This is a Yonti pureblood, and this is a half-orc. And apparently her human enough nature got them to have a human with Yonti culture. That is interesting. So they have put a Yonti in power of Las. But uh, well, yeah, what I wanted to show you was that kobolds are not scaly kind. Although you might think it, but they're draconic. Uh, so, of course, we want to keep this um, keep this duke alive here. We want him to, uh, s sorry, she, I apologize. You look all the same, goblins, okay? I don't give a hood. Uh, but yeah, uh, the fact of the matter is that uh, they get now tech points. Hopefully she can get it up so that this can be converted, just like Bacteri Land was at a certain point. Uh, yeah. Can't do anything about that. Can do something about this. We can upgrade it a wee little bit. I think this converted. No, I I think I'm I, I'm on the wrong side. I think Mabala was already. Yeah, that was already, because that was part of the the controlled territories by the original Chelt, the Chelt of the humans. These are all nice fortresses. Um. Reinforced Hill Fortress can do anything about that. You're still you're already building. I'm just looking to make everybody have greater fortresses so that we can upgrade them out of the tribal holdings. So that we can uh, progress a little bit. So we want to keep them alive. He is in a, a, a defensive pact against me that it has risen, of course. Which is kind of getting interesting and one of the interesting ones is Lantan that is in it and I believe Defense Bank opposing Chult that these four among are the same that if we would attack Lantan we would also get Samarach because they are SLR and they are SLR the greater group of SLR so I mean that that the goblins on there are really, really good in Gebehood Basically, I could yeah, I could take down these wild dwarves over here and these fire newts. Wouldn't do much. Well, our threat is 33%. Hold on. Uh, no, no. Other, uh, other religious groups don't band together against me yet. So I can still say declare war. Fire newts. Are you... You're scaly kind. I need to keep you alive. By the demand or by the advice of my chancellors, I should keep you alive. Um, board dispute, foul conquest. 250 prestige to keep them alive. Feels awkward, but I guess we're gonna do it, man. Let's go. They're scaly kind, so we'll keep the fire newts alive. Congratulations. The primordial fire newts keep to have their own lands, because you are of the right type of... Well, r uh, species. I want to say race first, but no, this is not about race. This is about species. We're a speciest. Oh, did to check what that was. That could have been something like, uh, hey, uh, there was, I think, a cult thing happening there. Or there was morale possibly getting that friendship there. 
Uh, yeah, we'll just attack. And we'll lose some people, but... Force vassalized. There you go. You're now part of these lands, which means that the fire peaks are ours. No, the peaks of fire. I... Peaks of flame. I apologize. I think I did this wrong before. <laughs> I keep messing this mountain rage up for some reason. And uh, yeah, I can't keep you alive. I'm sorry. I'm just going to do a holy war. Because that gets us a little bit more moral authority. And that is good. Moral authority is nice. Don't we have automatically stop threats? Question mark. We can throw you out. You're the immortal wizards that once ruled Nissi, so we're not going to do that. We can throw you out, but you have no money, so there's no reason to, and you have a claim on something. Matolo, so yeah, that's not going to help much. And you are a random fire newt that is celibate and whatever you have not. That, that's just not going to work. The issue that I'm having with this this little plan that I'm having over here is that I probably can't keep the Fire Newts alive because as soon as this duchy is formed, the Wild Coast, unless I give it to them, which, hold on, which is the capital? This is the Dujua capital. Uh, they're probably going to be run over because this is not part of the Fire Newts. This is a random Chalcite. Ooh. We have jungle. Uh, I have to focus. I don't want to do desert terrain. There's not a lot of desert in this area. Like, I don't even understand why it's offered to me. Or is this the, 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 land, the Battle of the Land of Ash considered desert? That is considered desert. <laughs> well, I was right. There isn't a lot of desert around here, but that might be the only county. Jungle, jungle, jungle. Yeah, everything is... Oh, no, this is also considered desert. Valley of Lost Honor. Which is why I was hovering over it, because I can see the coloration and I could understand the build by lore. There is some... There's some nasty shit in that valley. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, desert begins... I don't even think that this is counted as desert, I assume. This was uh, like... No, it is counted as desert. Not plains? Oh. So not so Uh No boy, howdy. Lightfoot? Troops? I mean, that's... You always have lightfoot troops. We don't have a lot of cavalry. We were yaunty. The other one is heavy infantry. I'm just gonna go with lightfoot troops. Sure. It's something that I always will use. Doop 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 doop. Hey dwarfs. You're about to be the last dwarves of Chult. Uh, my heirs once. If this grandson, who is not the brightest bulb... Sure. It's not like you're going to inherit anything, because I am now undead. I have to change that. I, You're not expected to inherit much, because I am undead. Now, of course, there is going to be a penalty at a certain point that you rule too long. So maybe at a time, my subjects will depose me. Like, there will be too much of a penalty, and people will... Go like, nope. We do not stand for that. Oh, nice child. Lovely child. It's going to be a long while until we have your border gore solved. Now, I know you're Estelar, but I think I'm going to take you anyways. Interesting. The living dead march to war. Let no soul escape. Oh, because I am now undead. I have another conquest cause as Balai. Now I have two. One for piety and one for prestige. Something t tells me that this might be worse. Yeah, they're coming to help him. But it's a one county thing. I'm gonna do it anyways. Screw you all. I'm just gonna show you the power of Chult, baby. Child is not gonna stop for nobody. Why should stop for you? You can't make me. Uh-uh. 
Yeah, London. Come here with your forces. Let me show you what I think about your forces. Nothing. I'm gonna even ignore them. That's how insignificant you are. That's interesting. There's another conquest. Uh, co uh. My grandson is attacking. He wants to now go in for this. Though I think yeah, he already lost to that, so that really doesn't matter. But uh, let's do this. Ah, oh, he did siege it down right before I could end it. Oh well. No worries. 100%. Bye bye, you have only one county, it doesn't matter. You've lost your lands, and from now on, I think we need to cool down a little bit. Yeah, 49%. That is getting a little large. So, let's give away these two lands. Hold on before we do that. Bye bye. Wonderful! More technology. I'm wondering if I should make this the county capital, but I, I don't think I will. And I think it's time to give this stuff away. Oh, I can build a castle here and make that the, the capital? Let's just do that for that little particular... Oh. Did not know I did done that. Let's build a castle over here. Let us uh, just give this land... Unless we can build a castle here as well. We can. Oh, let us get feudal lands immediately. I will hold on to these titles then for now. Alright, and there is yet another conquest called now by this guy. I'm just surprised this, this man hasn't claimed victory yet. He has a 100% war score. And he has seized down the correct territory. Why are you not claiming your victory? There we go. Ah. Uh, okay then. Ask the leaf court. I will take that five prestige hit. Thank you very much. Yeah. No. <laughs> Unless you do that. You don't have money, so... Ask to leave court. Thank you very much. Uh, this is interesting. He now owns this. Huh. Which ended his war and ended his war? No, he is now attacking the Duke. In a conquest of the L Lunar Bay. Okay, I will wait that war out to see who is going to get what. And here is the battle for it. Because if my grandson can win this battle, he may be able to gain this land. And then I should give him the duchy title. Yes, he would miss this little piece of the county. But otherwise he would be doing fine. But I think I don't think he will win because, yeah, the duke has way more allies. The west wall is being attacked by the high chiefdom of Yuti. Well, they're Yanti, so I can't really do anything with that. Nope. Not interested in a defensive fact. Sheesh. He won't form an alliance. But he does have a really... Oh, no. We'll call... We'll, we'll aid you with that war. Where are you? We will not have Charlton people back on this side of the continent. Just go to, I don't know, here. There's a nice little cold spot up. Um, uh, yeah, here, near Ice Lace. Why don't you go over there? It's a lovely terrain. Don't worry, there are no monsters over there. Or, for instance, I don't know, here. Uh, these are gnolls, sorry. I was looking for... I'm in the Moonsea territory. 
I'm in the wrong area. Here, the frozen sea. You're not being ruled by some freaking chromatic dragon lich. Absolutely not. I hovered over the chromatic dragon part. He is a lich. I know. So I'm, I'm not, not I'm not not insane. Oh, you're being destroyed e uh, slowly but surely. Yeah, I know this is border gore, but uh, we're keeping this duke alive for a reason. Uh, for now, it's fine, and we have gathered more than enough issues already. You're getting weaker by the day, and I am enjoying that because this is supposedly Yanti territory. You're not supposed to control that. Uh, what I was looking for, though, is where you are hiding out. You are leaving Kurot. Okay, I will admit, I have no idea where that lies. I do not recognize the name. I am not surprised. That is... That is a region I never played in. I don't know much about the VAR, oddly enough. I know the Rift, but the VAR... I haven't done much with. Well, I'll, I know I have some books I can look up for war if I'm ever going to play in that region. Uh, but yeah, we've joined that war. Doesn't really matter. Uh, you join existing defensive pact against me. Sure, what the hell? Not. I don't really care. A dang. We can usurp the kingdom of Findol. That might be interesting. Can we create the Empire of Chalt? Hold on, wait a second. How far are we? Into the creation of Chalt the Empire. Oh, oh yeah. Pindle, you served. Thank you. After that, ladies and gentlemen, in this episode I didn't even realize. No. Ah, 300 gold. Well then, in the next episode we're going to create ourselves our empire. And yes, we're going to give away this, uh, this thing. Now, you aren't really in a defensive pact against me, so... Let me just do your claim war, you. We'll start with that at the next episode. Ow! Sh sh I hurt my finger. Yes, I still have the problem. Tomorrow I'm going to the doctor. It's been a month and my fingers are not healing properly. Uh, but yeah. Next episode, we're going to do that. And we're going to create the Empire of Chalt. So, thank you for watching. And remember, great peril yields great beauty. <laughs>